Hello and welcome to the channel. President Tinubu, if for nothing else, has been decisive in his first three weeks in office. The speed and urgency he employs in his decision-making process is making a former setting president looking more and more like his Monica Baba Goslo. The new sheriff in town has been loaded for most of his decisions, and that includes the recent firing and hiring of new service chefs. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. New service chiefs. 100 military generals may be retired. About 100 top officers, including generals, brigadiers general, air vice marshals, and admirals in the Nigerian Army, Air Force, and Nigerian Navy may proceed on compulsory retirement following the appointment of new service chiefs on Monday by President Bola Tinubu. Aside from the imminent gale of retirement, many officers will be promoted to their next rank to fill the vacancies that will be created by the retiring generals as part of the reorganization of the services by the new service chiefs. This is happening six months after 24 major generals and 38 brigadier generals retired last December after serving the nation for 35 years. Tinubu announced the immediate retirement of General Loki Irabo, who was the Chief of Defense Staff. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yahoya. The Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Awal Gambo, and Air Marshal Oludayo Amao, the Chief of Air Staff, and replaced them with new military chiefs. The new service chiefs are Major General Christopher Musa, who is the Chief of Defense Staff. The Chief of Army Staff, Major General Tao Reed Lagbaja. The Chief of Naval Staff, Rear Admiral Emmanuel Ogala. While Air Vice Marshal Hassan Abubakar was appointed the Chief of Air Staff. DIG Kayade Egbeto Kun was appointed as the Acting Inspector General of Police and Major General E. Ondiandeye, Chief of Defense Intelligence. Also, a former Economic and Financial Crimes Commission chairman, Nuhu Ribadu, who was appointed last week as the security advisor to the president, was elevated to the national security advisor. In line with presidents, Major General Musa will adorn a full four-star general rank, while Lagbaja will be decorated with the three-star rank of Lieutenant General and Ogala with the same rank equivalent of Vice Admiral and Abubakar, with the Air Marshal rank. But the decoration with the new ranks by the President will come after Senate confirmation. The planned retirement of the senior officers across the three services was in line with the long-standing military tradition that officers who were senior to the service chiefs will be retired. It is a tradition in the military that when a junior is appointed as a service chief, senior officers who are ahead of him or her will proceed on retirement. The understanding is that senior military officers are unlikely to take orders from their juniors. While the new CDS is a member of 38 regular CUS, the COAS, the CNS, and the CAS are members of 39 regular CUS. Multiple sources said it meant that the security chiefs were junior to some generals who are members of CUS 37 and CUS 38. An impeccable source explained that about 100 top officers spread across the Army, Air Force, and Navy could leave the service in the coming weeks because, in the military, it is improper for a senior officer to serve under his juniors. Speaking to one of our correspondents in Abuja on Tuesday, a retired general explained that many top brass, particularly members of Course 37 and Course 38, would likely leave the service though the former military officer was not sure of the number of senior officers that may retire in the Army, Air Force, and Navy. He explained that the figure could be as high as 100. He stated, top officers that would leave the service may be up to 100 because it cuts across the three services. The retirement exercise will not affect ROC 39 officers. They would simply go to the defense headquarters because the chief of defense staff is ROC 38. Certainly, 
ROC 37 and 38 officers will leave the service, though some of them may be retained because the last time COAS Yahaya, who was a member of ROC 37, retained some of his mates, so he is living with his course mates now. Asked about the number of officers that make up a regular course, the source said there was no fixed number. Other then, along the line, some of them would have been weeded out through retirement, deaths, accidents, sickness, and other factors. So the course members that get to the top level are usually about 20 or 30 percent of the officers that enroll together. Corroborating the retired general, a serving military officer noted, all officers who are senior to the new service chiefs are supposed to go home, mostly senior officers who are members of course 37, 38, and some of 39. I said some course 39 members because they are course mates of the new service chiefs. Some service chiefs may choose to work with some of their course mates and others may decide not to work with them, but 37 and 38 will certainly go. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Course 39 officers are to go to, but some may be allowed to head the tri services like the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Nigeria Defense College, and Nigeria Armed Forces Resettlement Center. Another source said the course mates of the former CDS cannot be retained because they are seniors to the three service shifts. He stated, Yes, the CDS is a member of Course 38, but by military tradition, he is not expected to make any appointment from among his course mates because the CO, AS, CNS, and CAS are members of Course 39. If he does, they will be senior to them. Even those in Course 39 will go. Those that will escape being retired are those who are on senior courses at foreign missions. Looking across the three services, that number may be more than 100. It was further learned that all officers under the Nigerian Defense Academy regular course 39 who could not be accommodated at defense headquarters are to proceed on voluntary retirement. Former CDS General Irabo is a member of the NDA regular course 34. He was commissioned second lieutenant on June 28, 1986 into the signals corps of the Nigerian Army. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.